Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are and whenever you are joining. I'm Dr. Jan, and I am so glad you are joining us at Russell Institute of Learning, and this is our sidebar education. The topic today is building character and stamina. How do we help students to stand alone but not be shunned? And my goodness, I could talk and talk on this because I sort of look back at my own growing up and as I grew up, even though I had lots of acquaintances and people around me, I often felt very much alone. It wasn't until I probably was past my 30s that I finally realized, wow, I do fit. And so I want to think about that as teachers, as leaders, how are we touching the students that, you know, if I didn't know that I fit or I had my own talent and I had my own skills till after I was 30, I hate to say it, but it probably, and I know it did, it clouded some of the decisions I made along the way. So my question is for us as educators that we so often teach to the middle, whether we like it or not, we have so much to cover. There are so many students within a classroom and we've just got to keep rolling and rolling and rolling. So when a child has a question, we may give them a quick answer. Here's what you need to know for the test, but the child may really need more time and attention. So in my research in characteristics of contemporary uh, progressive middle schools, I really looked at that the standardization that we we do as schools isn't really working for a lot of our students. Now, there are students who do absolutely excellent at the top. There are students who are struggling at the bottom. And there are students who in the middle, they make it. However, what about the students who absolutely don't have a clue that they are capable of so much more? And they just slide through school. They slide through class. And just with a little bit of additional nurturing and attention, they could wind up changing their lives and the lives around them. Well, that becomes the responsibility of us as teachers and leaders because the students don't know. They've never had to overcome um, obstacles or realize that, you know what, as my grandfather would say, this too shall pass. For them, anytime they face a struggle at a young age, they're ready to give up. It's too hard. So even if we as teachers and leaders come together and try to make a plan, which we always do, oh, here's the plan for this year. Here's the plan for the next 10 years. You know what? A plan really is way too big. I am a firm believer that I'd like to be able to spend more time with each individual child to find out what is it that they really have in their heart that makes them who they are. We now know this as emotional intelligence. This could be um, other types of activities. And so if we make a plan that's so big, we're, I've written on um, an article about cookie cutter kids in a non cookie cutter world. Or did I say non cookie cutter kids in a cookie cutter world? There we go. It's cookie, non cookie cutter kids in a cookie cutter world. We want all the kids to fit into the round box when they might be triangles or they might be squigglies. And we need to learn as teachers and as educators and administrators that we really need to look at how can we change our education system. No child left behind did not solve the issue. All of our virtual learning, which I think is a good thing, is not solving the issues. So my goal is let's get talking, let's get collaborating, let's figure out what, since we're, hey, everybody's talking about restart and we're, we're at a point where education isn't being addressed, well, why can't we make this a time that we move ahead and we start doing something different and quit saying, well, we've never done it like that before. Well, I don't see how it can be done. It's time for us to really, really, really start thinking outside the box because the true benefit should be for the child, not the teachers, not the school. And once the children benefit, then everybody else benefits as well because they are our future. Thanks for joining. I hope that you will continue to watch. You will subscribe. You will follow. You will share. 
you will comment again welcome to Russell Institute of Learning sidebar education not where I give the answers but sure have a lot of questions and hope to engage us as educators and leaders to make a difference thanks and see you later